What's up guys, you already know what's going on, back with another video, today's video bro, you already know bro, lore video, obviously bro, lore videos go hard, but like me, I be hard sometimes, anyways, these lore videos slap, so you already know I'm making one, this one's gonna be a little bit different, you already know bro, it's gonna be Mr. P lore bro, you already know bro, Mr. P bro, the one and only, he's recently, he was recently introduced to the Boom Beat Frontlines community, so you already know bro, so the lore, dedicated to him bro make sure you share this video around so mr p can watch this video and hopefully he comments on it but anyways let's get into it bro make sure to share it around bro needs to comment on this video bro i need mr p to see this video anyways bro now we starting it was a good old gregarious day this good old guy right here he was just vibing out you know chilling he was just doing his thing you know how people be doing you know i'd be doing that sometimes too now who was chilling you say our boy luke yeah, that's the main character of the story. Anyways, you know, bro, you already know, bro. Luke was just vibing out. Like I said earlier, he was just doing his thing at home, playing freaking Boom Beach Frontline, some random game he heard about that it recently came out. This was freaking 19 new countries. It was crazy, bro. Bro, I don't know where my boy Luke got a call from some random guy. His friend, I don't know, bro. His friend was kind of a, a sussy man. He was sus, you know, he liked men, but, you know, moving on from that. His friend also was into anime and stuff, freaking VTubers, which is a new thing. I don't know, bro. His friend was an interesting fellow. He was pretty cool, though, but enough about Luke's friend. We moving on, bro. His friend called him up, bro. His friend was like, hey, yo, what's up, bro? Trying to come over. Now, Luke didn't really hang out with the best of people, and he knew that, but he was like, eh, whatever. So he was like, yeah, bro, I'm coming over right now. We'll wait, I'll give me like 10 minutes, bro. So you already know, bro. Bro was getting ready, just vibing out. You know how people do when they get ready. So bro got ready, bro. He was, he, was, he just like dipped. He was like, all right. Then he called up whoever his friend knows. He was like, hey, all right, bro. I'm being there in five minutes because he was getting in the car, you know. So, you know, he got in his car. He got in his whip, bro. And he started driving over to his friend's house. It was pretty close by, not going to lie. So he just went over to his friend's house. He was like, hey, yo, what's up, gang? And then his friend was like, what's up, gang? And his friend had some weird anime poster in his room. Was, I don't know, but we're moving on from that. So they went in there, but in Luke's mind, he was like, huh, this, this is kind of sussy. Why is there 10 people in this room completely naked? He was like, why is this? Why is there 10 people in this room just there, bro? Luke was suspicious, bro. He was like, man, it's kind of sussy. But he, he was like, man, F word it is. So he just kept going with it. He was just vibing out, bro. They were all just chilling for a while. And then out of nowhere... They all start jumping him, bro. They all get on top of him, you know. Let's pull his pants. They all get on top of him. They just start punching him, bro. Punching him everywhere. Eventually, our boy Luke, bro, he just gets knocked out out of nowhere, bro. He just gets knocked out. And he stays asleep there. And then they just go on this car, right? You know, I just imagine they're in a car, you know, room, room. Wheels on the bus go around. Anyways, they were just riding out in this car. And then Luke was still passed out, bro. He was knocked out cold. But he woke up. That's how you know he was in this car, bro. You know what I'm saying? So Luke woke up eventually. I don't know when he woke up, but bro, Brody woke up. He was like, hey, yo, what's going on? In his mind, obviously, because he was taped up and everything, bro. Bro was tied up in his feet, his arms, his mouth, his cog. And anyway, he was tied up everywhere, bro. He was so confused in his mind. He was like, bro, what is going on? Where are they taking me? You know how all those questions be when people are kidnapped. He was asking all that to himself. He was like, oh, no. He was worried, bro. He was, he, he, he did not know what to do, bro. He was just there. So he just started panicking. He started moving around everywhere. And then the people the people that were driving were like, hey, calm down, fam. I lie. And then our boy Luke was like, all right, bro. He just calmed down eventually. He was like, man. He was like, man, what did I get myself into? So, you know, our boy Luke, he was just vibing out. He didn't know what was going on. But he just he just stayed there, you know what I'm saying? He just stayed there for however long this car ride is. Anyways, 10 years before, our boy Luke still waiting in this car. But you already know, they just kept going and going, driving and driving. I don't know where they were driving, but they were just kept going, bro. They were playing some Kanye West, bro. So you already know, what like a big W. So, you know, Luke was content for a while since they were playing some Kanye West. So that he was just vibing out, you know, Kanye. Who doesn't vibe out to Kanye, you know what I'm saying? So he was just there, you know, like I said, vibing out. Then I don't know where they played freaking Kid Cudi. Like, ew, who even likes Kid Cudi, bro? Luke absolutely hated Kid Cudi, bro. He hated him. He didn't like Kid Cudi at all. You know why he hated him? 
he was beefing with Kanye West, bro. Like, who even likes Kid Cudi, bro? Like, ew. Okay, bro. Then they started playing freaking Steve Lacey, bro. Stevie Lacey. And then Luke felt the inner white girl in him, and he started throwing it down while he was tied up. Uh, weird, bro. It was a weird situation, you know what I'm saying? Oh, finally, bro. Finally, they got to the destination. Luke didn't know what this destination was. So once they got there, you already know, bro. They untied Luke. They took the tape out of him. out. You know how they do that. They set him free. Not really. They just untied everything, you know what I'm saying? And Luke was like, man, I smell something. It smells so familiar, bro. It smells like... Oh, it smells like tea, bro. It started smelling like tea. Luke was like, I know where I'm at, bro. Luke instantly knew. He was like, I'm in London, mate. And he was like, dang, bro. Why am I in London? I was in, like, freaking Hawaii last time. That's crazy, bro. That's a long drive. I don't know how long it took, but damn, that's crazy. So he was like, man, why are we in London, fam? He asked the freaking person that came at him. He was like, hey, fam, why are we in London? Okay, bro. He was like, why are we in London, fam? And the guy that kidnapped him was like, man, you'll figure it out soon enough. And so they took him, they tied him back up, and they took him. They just stopped to, to look around for a few seconds, because they were kind of lost. But they didn't tell that to Luke. So Luke was like, man, I'm free. But he wasn't at all. <laughs> they tied my boy back up, bro. They threw him in the back of that car again. And they started driving again. And then Luke just, you know, he just took a nap. He was like, man, I ain't trying to deal with this, bro. So he just took a nap, and he was like, he was just wondering, like, where are we going? And again, once he woke up from this nap, he was like, Hey, yo, where are we at? Since they finally stopped again. So then Luke freaking wiggled his way up to look out the window. And they were just at a gas, st gas station. So Luke was just like, man. So he just went back to sleep. He was like, man, forget this. I'm just going to take a nap again. A few more hours, bro. A few more hours passing by them. Just driving, you know, vibing out. You know how they do. You know how can ever be, bro. They just be driving, you know what I'm saying? This time, bro. This time, my boy Luke actually woke up from something, bro. Something woke him up. He was like, hey, yo, what was that, fam? So he woke up and then, bro, woke up wondering what happened. He was confused, bro. He was like, what the sussy, what's he, what's he, you know? So again, he wiggled himself back up to see what was going on. And boom, bro. He saw this big old building bro he didn't know what was this building but he saw some big he saw a big old monkey logo on there bro he was like bro what is this he was like what is this but why am i some monkey place okay the kidnappers bro they you know they already know bro they took him out the car they untied him and everything again and then they finally bro this time they finally they took him inside the building they're they were like shut up they told my boy luke they're like shut up fam so you already know, bro, they went inside, and you know, Luke was, he was just looking around, and he was like, bro, what the sus? He kept seeing monkeys, he kept seeing monkeys around, he kept seeing everything, bro, he kept seeing random stuff around, he saw random action figures, there was random things, he saw some lady with a bazooka, bro, it was, was kind of crazy, bro, I'm not gonna lie. But eventually they got to their destination, bro, they went through elevators and all that, bro. Eventually, he, they, they were at the top floor, bro. They were at the top floor. It was crazy. And they got to their destination. Once they got there, the kidnappers just left. And Luke, in his mind, he was like, bro, this is, this is so not gregarious, fam. This is such an unconvivial situation right now, bro. And there was just one door right in front of him, bro. There was just one door. The kidnappers had left. So Luke was like, man, whatever. So he just went through that door. He just went right in there. You know what was in there? There was some weird, bro, some weird ass futuristic looking machine in there. It was crazy. And then there was also three people in there. Three or two people. I honestly don't remember how many people were in there, bro. The people were that were in there were like, sit down, Lucas. Luke. They're like, sit down, fam. You already know. You want some tea, mate? Okay, bro, I'm never doing that again. But anyway, they're like, you want some tea, fam? Luke was just like, nah, fam. I don't even know why I'm here. You know what I'm saying? So the guys were like, well then, let me tell you, bro. And then they just started rambling on about random stuff. But eventually, fam, they told Luke, they're like, okay, listen, buddy. You know why you're here, right? And Luke was like, bro, you haven't told me a single thing. About so then they told them, they're like, you see this machine right here, bro? This machine here, right? What the fuck? This machine right here, bro, this machine turns people into animated figures. And Luke was like, oh no, bro. Well, Luke knew what was going to happen, so he was like, man, whatever. I was playing this random ass game, Boombie Frontlines, all day anyway. And then the, the people were like, what? Boombie Frontlines? 
were the developers for that game. And then Luke was like, what? And then out of nowhere, what he was saying, what? They just threw him in the machine, bro. Like, what the sus? And then Luke just started screaming, bro. I don't know why. I guess it was just a painful experience to be turned into an animated character. You know what I'm saying? But bro eventually came out. He came out as some random pineapple. He didn't even have a name yet, bro. He was just a pineapple just vibing out there. You know what I'm saying? And then the people there, bro, they could somehow talk to him while he was in this freaking animated figure. So these people were like, hey fam, what's up Luke? Your new name, bro. Your new name is Mr. P, bro. And Luke was like, man, that's not that bad of a name. So he's like, eh, whatever, fam. I guess my name is Mr. P now. My boy Luke didn't really care, so he's like, man, whatever. But what Luke didn't know is that this permanently turns you into that thing. Another thing he didn't know is they could turn him back to his freaking normal form whenever they wanted. But this normal form wasn't no normal form. It was his animated form. So he, he just came back to life as some random small short pineapple, bro. It was crazy. It was crazy, bro. But these developers, bro, they were evil, bro. They were, they were sinister, bro. They had some evil plans to do with my boy Mr. P, bro. So they can bring him back to life as much as they want. They're like, man, I'm going to just do whatever I want with this fool. Bro, so you know what they did, bro? They're like, man, I'm going to drink this fool. So one day, one of the developers were like, man, I'm going to just get this guy. I'm going to just put him in a juicer and I'm going to drink him. It was crazy, bro. It was crazy. So they just peeled them slowly. I don't even want to explain it, bro. Gruesome details, bro. They, they peeled them slowly. They put him in the juicer and they just started juicing him out. And they made in, and then they carbonated him, bro. They made into some random soda and a glass bottle. It was crazy, bro. And then one of the developers had the crazy idea to post it on Twitter, bro. It was crazy, and like literally nobody said anything about it, bro. Like the screenshot right here, bro. Like literally, he literally admitted to drinking our boy Mr. P, fam. It was crazy. Literally nobody said anything about it, bro. I literally commented that, bro. Look at this, fam. I don't know what to think about it, bro. Literally, nobody suspected a thing, bro. It was crazy. Nobody knew the evil, the evil stuff that happened in the behind the scenes of this game, bro. Of these videos, of everything. It was crazy. So that's why I'm telling you his story right here, right now, bro. Mr. P slash Luke. Rip, bro. Rip Luke, bro. He's now just Mr. P. And he's gonna be freaking taken advantage of for the rest of his life, bro. Hashtag free Mr. P, bro. It's so crazy what they doing to my boy, bro. He ain't doing nothing wrong, bro. Why they gotta do that to him, bro? Crazy, bro. Anyways, bro, that's enough for the video. It's kind of crazy. Kind of had no ending, bro. You already know, bro. Free Mr. P, bro. Hashtag free Mr. P. But anyways, have a good day, bye.